American officials intercepted electronic data showing large financial transfers from a bank account controlled by Russia's military intelligence agency to a Taliban-linked account, which was among the evidence supporting claim Russia offered bounties for killing U.S. and coalition troops in Afghanistan. Here's a summary of the article. American officials intercepted electronic data showing large financial transfers from a bank account controlled by Russia's military intelligence agency to a Taliban-linked account, which was among the evidence that supported their conclusion that Russia covertly offered bounties for killing U.S. and coalition troops in Afghanistan, according to three officials familiar with the intelligence. The disclosures further undercut White House officials' claim that the intelligence was too uncertain to brief President Trump. The three American officials who described and confirmed details about the basis for the intelligence assessment spoke on the condition of anonymity amid swelling turmoil over the Trump administration's failure to authorize any response to Russia's suspected proxy targeting of American troops and playing down of the issue after it came to light four days ago. One of the people said, the White House also cited some interrogations by Afghan intelligence officials of other detainees, playing down their credibility by describing them as low-level. Democrats emerged saying that the issue was clearly not, as Mr. Trump has suggested, a hoax. They demanded to hear directly from intelligence officials, rather than from Mr. Trump's political appointees, but conceded they had not secured a commitment for such a briefing. The Times reported last week that intelligence officials believed that a unit of the GRU had offered and paid bounties for killing American troops and other coalition forces and that the White House had not authorized a response after the National Security Council convened an interagency meeting about the problem in late March. Intelligence about the suspected Russian plot was included in the president's daily brief in late February, according to two officials, contrasting Mr. Trump's claim on Sunday that he was never briefed or told about the matter. This post received a score of 59,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. So there goes that there wasn't sufficient evidence to inform the president excuse. Their lies are called one by one as they make them. The lies follow exactly the same pattern. It's a lie, then it's a new lie, then they consult with Republican senators and yet another lie. Then they say it's the Dems creating the situation which is another lie and finally more info comes out and they go silent. Usually 24 to 72 hours. The president didn't know about it and wasn't briefed on it. It's possible it was in one of his briefings. It was in his briefings, but we weren't sure of the veracity. Less than, we are here. He knew for over a year, but hey, don't you guys just hate the NYT? LMAO Fox News lawyer said people should go to the NYT for credible news instead of Tucker Carlson. Can you source this? Please, oh, please let there be a source for this. This is what I could find from a quick search, what we're talking about here, it's not the front page of the New York Times, Aaron Murphy, the attorney, said. It's Tucker Carlson Tonight, which is a commentary show. I hope this goes the same way as the vitamin water lawsuit. The idea that, of course the public knows we're lying to them when we make every effort to appear sincere, is such a BS argument. I would hope any self-respecting judge would laugh it out of their court. Vitamin water is basically considered contagious childhood building sorry I was swiping Kool-Aid but it was just Freudian what my keyboard came up with. Same difference to me, Kool-Aid was always in a pitcher in my grandma's fridge as a kid. I DK what your autocorrect is on but I want some. My droid install corrupted a few things recently and the keyboard as new rules every few day rn probably dergs. It's clear to me that he should have immediately contacted the Joint Chiefs to discuss what are we going to do about this. He should have picked up the phone and said, Vladimir old buddy, if any of this is true, we've got a big problem. If he knew about this, and if anything is even remotely true and he did nothing about it, he's unfit for duty. Tilda Joe Biden, addressing the nation this morning, responding to questions about Trump and Bounty Gate. And even Fox is broadcasting it. If this unfolded like this on Obama's watch, Trump would have full on called for a coup. He still might. If he loses the election I have a very strong feeling it's going to get weird and ugly. For sure. There's three months between election night and transfer of power. If he loses, he won't go quietly. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.